What's up, YouTube? Chris G613 back again. Today we got something pretty crazy. Um, got my new retro uh, Four Jordan breads in the mail today. Um, awesome sneakers, probably one of my all-time favorites. So I want to stack them in the back. My second year Jordan right here, still waiting for the uh, super nice one to get back from PSA. It's been there since the beginning of April. Uh, today is I don't know May 8th, I believe. So still waiting for for uh, for that from PSA. Um, I do have this up in the background. This is a fake a Fugazi, um, not real at all, but I just wanted to uh, to put it up here because I got something that we might need to compare to that. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of LA Beast, and uh, I saw a couple videos of his recently that uh, inspired me. Uh, Michael Jordan is my all-time favorite athlete, and if you've watched it like I've watched it, I think it's gotten over a million views. Um, LA Beast found a couple of of genuine 86-87 Fleer basketball cards uh, online. Um, I think he said he paid I don't know, uh, under 600 bucks for both packs total. Um, he ended up grading the one card, and, and he pulled what he was looking for. So uh, I started to do some research, started to look around, and I, I, I found what I think may be something that's quite legit, and I'm going to share it with you today. Um, I found this eBay seller. He had very good re uh, reviews, and I purchased these. I sent him a, a request and asked him if he would accept a, um, a lower amount for two packs. And he sent me back a response and said, we can do that. And uh, that's how I came across these. Um, I, I'm banking on the due diligence that I did is correct because I don't want to get ripped off here and it's very easy to do so. Um, the seller that I bought these from had an eBay rating of over 2,000 and it was 100%. So, without any further ado, these are the two packs of 86, 87 Fleer NBA basketball cards. Now, that's quite normal to see a little bit of um, busted through like packs like that. And I don't... I don't think these have ever been opened. Um, I'm gonna say that these look pretty genuine to me. Um, I'm gonna look these over very, very well before we open them. So if you're impatient and you just wanna see me rip these, you might wanna skip fast forward a few, minute, a few minutes because I'm gonna take my time and look these over really, really well. Uh, I got lucky and did a trade for, for a brand new pack fresh. Um, Second year Jordan, like I said, that is still at PSA. So to open up something like this is quite amazing. I paid $450 for these two packs, so $225 a pack. Uh, I don't know if these are genuine or not. But uh, this one doesn't have any rips on it. I'll set that there. And um, this one just has a little busting right there. So without further ado, the hunt for the Holy Grail is about to begin. Now there's an Akeem Olajuwon All-Star sticker on the back. Now I think that the glue mark right there is lining up, so this might be legit. Again, I'm purposely doing this on slow because I want to see how these things look. Now, these cards, I think, have never been opened. This is the way that they do come out of the pack. This is a 33-year-old pack. Here's the gum. And these look quite genuine to me. Well, here we go. Let's see what we could find in here. We know what we're looking for. There's a ton of Hall of Famers in this stuff. These are legit. See that little printing bubbles? Oh, let's just hope they haven't been uh, searched. Wayman Tisdale, Bill Hanslick, Calvin Natt, Daryl Griffith, Charles Oakley. That might be his rookie. That's a pretty sweet one right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we got Charles Oakley. Let's take a look at this. 
Center. He was very nice on that. I grew up watching him. Especially on the Knicks, actually, is when I remember him. That's a pretty cool one, so I'll end up sleeving that one open a bit. All right. Mike Minsky. Hey, Doc Rivers. There's another good one. That also might be his rookie card. These seem to be centered quite, quite well. Again, I could see the lines for the basketball very well. Yeah, these are 100% genuine and in very good shape. So another Doc Rivers, another Hall of Famer. Daryl Dawkins. Derek Smith. Pat Cummings. I actually have this card graded in a eight. Hey, here's a rookie. Dominique Wilkins. Another really, really nice one here. Pretty cool. Those scratches are not on the card. If you could see, that's actually part of the picture. A little up, down, off center, but left, right is actually pretty sweet. And this is a Hall of Fame rookie card. Again, just up, down on the centering. <clears throat> uh, Terry Teagle. And again, the uh, Akeem Olajuwon uh, All-Star. Way off center, up, down on that sucker. On the sticker. <laughs> And the rest. All right, so first pack, we did we did okay. Um, again, sorry, I'm going to take my time. Let's leave up a few of these, even though they are a little bit off center. Get a little protection here. Again, rookie all-star sticker, Hakeem Olajuwon. Way off center, up, down. I also spelled his name wrong. <laughs> it's an uncorrected error. We got a um, Dominique Wilkins for the Atlanta Hawks, rookie. Again, off center, up, down. Other than that, it's actually a pretty decent shape. We got a Doc Rivers. That one is a really nice condition in my mind. And a Charles Oakley. This is probably my favorite basketball set of all time. And uh, like I said, to, to have a chance to, to chase down my dream card, I, I had to take that. All right, it's all coming down to this one. Can I find my Holy Grail card inside of this pack? I don't know if I'll ever be able to find these or purchase them again. I found them last year at the National and they were $2,000 a piece through Baseball Card Exchange. Um, these here were, like I said, were $225 each off of eBay. Got Patrick Ewing sticker on the back. The gum. I'll set that off to the side. All right, here we go. Whew. We got Larry Nance. A Phil Hubbard. Come on, man. A Johnny Moore. And Dave Greenwood. A Lewis Orr. A Reggie Theus. Artis Gilmore. Check out that facial hair. Those sideburns, nice. <laughs> Purvis Short. Oh, man. I don't think I don't think he's in this. Walter Davis. And my last card is a Larry Smith. And a Michael Cooper. <laughs> oh, I did get an Isaiah Thomas rookie. Hey, that's cool. And a Patrick Ewing rookie sticker. Here's the Isaiah Thomas. These are definitely legit. up here so Isaiah Thomas rookie card for the Detroit Pistons 
pretty decent shape there. Again, you can tell, you can actually see the lines on the NBA basketball. You can see the, the dot in the 20.8. You can tell that there is some lines inside that orange arrow right there uh, next to Premier. Uh, it's very important that you can see that stuff. That's how you can see if these are fake or not. And these are real. So I didn't hit my uh, my all-time favorite grail card today. But it does mean that I'll just have to do some more hunting and try to get them later on. Patrick Ewing. This is going to have the uh, the wax spots on the back. Now, I heard you can get them off with, um, like, pantyhose. Um, I saw... Rockavelli actually remove a bunch of wax from some old basketball cards that he had opened and it worked really well. So I'll definitely be doing that at least on this one because this one's in pretty decent shape. So not too bad. We did uh we did get a couple of the top rookies from the Hall of Fame class. Isaiah Thomas, Charles Oakley, Doc Rivers, Dominique, and a couple decent uh all-stars, Akeem Olajuwon and Patrick Ewing. We didn't get my man today, but uh, I'll keep searching. If you haven't done so, pop this bubble to subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up and comment below because I can't wait to show you what's next. See you later.